It's really easy to create your own custom chatbot in Magic School to put in front of your students. And the options for creating that custom chatbot are getting better all the time. So I'm here at my Magic School homepage and I want to create this custom chatbot for my students. So I'm going to go over to Launch to Students, which will take me to my student rooms space. So any rooms I've already created will show up here and I can go up in this top right corner and hit Launch New Room. Once I do that, I'll um, give it some details and then start to add tools to this room. I can add several tools and this is pretty cool um, and re pretty recent. I can add more than one of the same tool. So I've been hoping for this for a while so that I could add more than one custom chat bot to a particular room if my needs are very specific and don't necessarily fit the parameters of these other pre-made tools. Um, but I'm only going to use one tool for this example, but it's nice to know that you can add several. So I hit next and I am taken to the page where I can customize this tool. So I can give it a name. Um, in this example, I'm going to try to create a chat bot that facilitates a game for students, kind of like 20 questions or um, heads up, I guess is the better example, uh, where students will ask yes or no questions with the goal of guessing a mystery vocab word. So I'm gonna call this game a simple question. Vocab guesser. And I can give it a description and um, control what voice is used if students have the text read aloud that they generate. Um, but let's say, ask me yes or no questions to help you guess a vocab word. Um, now I would choose the grade level here. I'm gonna say this is for eighth grade students. And um, all of my customization happens down here in these uh, two boxes, instructions and knowledge. So I already have instructions written up for this that I'll paste in here. Um, but if you have an idea and it's not fully fleshed out, what's really neat is you can just put in a basic prompt, like you are a game host who answers yes or no questions about vocab words. And they've built in their prompt assistant tool. So that's right here. Whenever you're typing in a prompt, you can get help with that prompt. And it will take what you've put in there and kind of blow it up to be more effective for this kind of activity. Um, so this, I, this isn't exactly what I would want, but it's nice to see that you can have support as you um, craft your prompts to not have to worry about having all the perfect instructions in place. So I'm gonna paste my instructions that I've already come up with. You'll facilitate a yes or no question game for me where I ask you yes or no questions in order to try to guess a vocabulary word. The words you may choose are from mystery, strategy, race, escape, dice, algorithm, loop, variable, condition, conditional, debug, infer, analyze, evaluate, interpret, and associate. You may only respond with a simple yes or no to my questions. If I ask a question that can't be answered with a yes or no, remind me that I am only allowed to ask yes or no questions and offer a suggestion of how to reframe my question to be in the right format. When I correctly guess the vocab words, celebrate my efforts and give me feedback on my questioning strategies. So I arrived at this prompt by doing a bunch of testing. This isn't how it started out. I would put in instructions, try it out, and then run into an issue, or maybe something didn't work quite the way I wanted it to. And so I would go back and I would adjust my instructions. Um, what's nice about um, the instructions and the knowledge that you can give the chatbot is what you can attach to it. And this has grown. It used to kind of just be like a PDF or a document that you could attach, and it was just one. Now you can add a whole bunch of stuff. So um, if uh, you were to add a website, let's say, you can paste the URL. Let me just grab a URL real quick. And you'll see that it will calculate the number of words from that website that it can see. And it's just that particular page that you've pasted in there. So if there's multiple pages to that website, you'd have to paste in each uh, individual unique URL. 
but you can kind of get a running total of all of the words. You can get up to um, 75,000 words. So that one page was just a drop in the bucket. I can add a ton of websites. I can keep adding URLs uh, until I hit that, that mark, um, that word limit. So I can add a lot of knowledge to support the instructions for my chat bot. So if I have something very specific that I want my students to be thinking about, um, this is a great way to get them interacting with the information uh, without having to just put the website in front of them or ask them the questions directly. They can interact with the chat bot to really capture their thinking. So once I have um, my instructions for my chat bot set up the way I want and any knowledge I want to attach to it, I'll hit next. And um, actually, I'm going to go back real quick and just point out that you can hide this field from students. When this little eyeball is blue, students will see it. And um, if you click on it so that it's kind of grayed out, they will not see the information in these boxes. So for me, I don't want them to see the prompt that I've put in ahead of time. And now I can test out that custom chat bot. So heading generate kind of starts the game for me in this example. You see right away, I get my little introduction and I can start asking questions. And I can continue on this way and I'll just get yes or no answers until I correctly guess a vocab word. If I try to ask a question that's outside of the parameters, as in not a yes or no question, what are you made of? I will get some pushback. I need to remind you that this is a yes or no question game. Please rephrase your question. Um, for example, you could ask, is the word related to physical objects or is this something you can touch? Um, so this you know, is a pretty functional game that I can create just by customizing this chat bot on Magic School. So Magic School has tons of pre-made tools that are awesome, but if you have something that's unique, like a game, or some other specific use that Magic School doesn't provide, you can customize your own chatbot and share it with students.